Hello everyone, welcome to day seven of the seven day drum field challenge. It's the final day and I really hope that y'all been enjoying this uh, seven day challenge so far and that y'all been learning a lot. So let's get straight into today's fill. So what I do on this fill is that I first start off by playing a sort of a flam, if you could say. So I'm playing just a constant groove on the hi-hat snare and kick, so it's just... And right before I start the fill, I did the... So I just play double with the kick, and on the first kick that I do uh, on the double, I hit the cymbal, so I go... So it's so that's all you're doing to start off the whole fill. So once again, you're just playing double, and on the first hit of the double, you hit the cymbal, then you fall right back on your hi hat and snare, and then you do which is a flam, and then you do another flam on the cymbal and the snare. So it's. That's all it is to that's all it is to start off the actual to start off the, the fill. And then the actual fill in itself starts by playing a comp like a triplet. It's just that you play right, left, so your right hand is on the floor tom, your left hand is on the first rack tom, and then your kick just plays a single hit. And then you go into your floor tom or whatever tom you want to use. And you play left, right, left, right, left, and then you do double kick, and then you land with your right hand on the snare, and then you go left, right, left on the toms, and you hit another kick, a single hit on the kick, and then you do left, right, left, right, and you land with the, the last right, you land on, on the cymbal with the kick. It's, it's hard to explain uh, verbally because it's like a, it's a linear drum fill so it requires a lot of uh, continuous uh, motion because it's, it's like all these different sec sections of the fill in itself are all together and they're uh, interconnected so it's, it's hard to be able to explain when it's all uh, following each other on the fill but I'm gonna try to play it really slow on this demonstration to show y'all what I'm talking about and then I'm gonna play it full speed so that y'all guys can understand it a little bit better. It is tricky, but it is learnable and, and that's why I'm including the notations in this video so that y'all can uh, follow along at your own pace. So here goes the slow demonstration and then the fast one. So I hope y'all learned something new today in this video and out of the fill that I showed y'all. Uh, just uh, practice this fill a lot because it takes a lot of independence and just balance between your feet and your hands to be able to play the fill and a lot of fluidity. So just make sure to take your time with this fill and really practice it uh, slowly and then develop the speed to be able to play it at higher speeds. So just, you know, take Take your time, be patient with it, play it and play it and play it and play it and you'll slowly begin to feel everything come together. So please subscribe if you haven't already, share this video and I hope you enjoyed this whole seven day series and I will see you all on the next video. Bye bye.